Today, we're gonna go over my December whiskey store haul video. Oh yeah, I'm always on the fence about doing these because it's when I actually notice how much I bought. And yeah, not good. There's a lot. I'm excited, sort of. Let's, Let's go. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me ba -ba 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 here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, checking out the channel. Um, thank you so much, guys, for everything you guys did, um, all your support, for everything you did in 2023 for myself and for the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. We're gonna get back on a regular type of schedule. It's been a little bit crazy at work and uh, with family, some uh, personal stuff with, um, uh, health-wise with my family um, my dad he's a little bit uh, not doing so well but hopefully he gets better so I uh, had to do a lot of traveling lately um, but we should be getting into a better schedule now and what better way to make me feel better than to showcase how stupid I was in purchasing all of these bourbons in the month of December I'm being sarcastic because, um, yeah, this, this, I'm, I'm always on the fence about doing these videos because I'm always like, oh, I can't believe I bought this much. But I do usually budget for December and for January because historically I'm able to get some really good bottles. And this year, it did not disappoint, right? So we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. Uh, but first, I wanna do an inaugural cheers. I got a little bit here because I've been drinking on this and this has been really freaking good. Shout out to North Tampa Bottle Club, little mini Glen there, so cheers. Wow. That is good. And that's the first one that we're gonna start with, right? Because there's a couple of store picks here that I was able to get. So the first store pick that I'm gonna talk about is one from Liquor Depot. So shout out to Liquor Depot, shout out to Trey over there. He is the man, always so supportive, uh, especially of the North Tampa Bottle Club. Um, and this is the Liquor Depot pick for Penelope Valencia. This is amazing. Now, this is interesting because I didn't think I was gonna like this that much. Usually, VND, like these type of finishes, I'm just like, eh, not really. But I had to get this one because I love that tater sticker in the back. Tampa Bay guy with the orange, orange creamsicle. And they picked it with the North Tampa Bottle Club before my time, but still, this was amazing and you guys can see i already been hitting it pretty hard um, this is from liquor depot again it is barrel strength and it is 110 proof yeah this was freaking good i am loving that one and yeah i keep drinking on that like crazy because that is so good i only have one bottle so i gotta kind of take it easy now talking about single barrels i guess we'll we'll, we'll get through the store picks right first um, another store pick that I was able to pick up from Liquor Depot is Heaven's Door Single Barrel Store Pick. This is Cast Strength, um, again from Liquor Depot, and uh, this is 126.7 proof. Trey does a great job. Him and the Liquor Depot folks do a great job in picking out these store the uh, store picks. And this is really good. I had it, even though this is closed, I had it there because they had it. For, um, for tasting at the store, and that is really freaking good. I might not open this one, quite honestly, because it has that um, whiskey corner etching on the back, so I might just leave that as a trophy bottle, kind of. But, hey, it is what it is. Now, another pick, a store pick, that I was able to get is from MDP Liquors. Now, you guys saw me that I would wait in line for a drop that they did at MDP Liquors, and quite honestly, for the Liquor Depot ones as well. Um, but, 
Here, I was able to score a store pick of Wilderness Trail, and this is a cast strength, and it is a weeded mash bill. So this is 110 proof. I usually like Wilderness Trail. I know I'm gonna like this, um, but I'll do a review on it for you guys. Actually, I'm gonna do a review on all of these except for like the Heaven Store one, right? Um, Cause I'm not gonna open that one, but excited to get into that one as well. Um, another store pick that I was able to get, wow, I got a lot of store picks, uh, but the store picks are great guys. And that's the good thing about store picks is from my boy, Sam. Shout out to Sam at Winthrop Liquors. So first off, shout out to Trey at Liquor Depot. Shout out to TJ and Kevin at MDP and shout out to Sam at Winthrop Liquors. Um, so I got a short barrel, single barrel. This is um, their toasted barrels. And this, from what Sam told me, is old uh, Bartstown barrels, right? So it's Bartstown barrels that and for this particular run they used and this was amazing when i tasted it at the store i was like okay i need to get one of those so this is 122.5 proof and i'm excited for this one so that was a great store pick so those were the store picks that i was able to get um now along with those store picks i was actually able to get some other stuff but we'll get into that in a second let's get into what people actually sent me so i got sent three bottles right one of them is from my awesome guy over there james street james thank you thank you thank you so much you are a true dear friend i appreciate you james is always on on the uh videos always commenting always um joining the lives as well and i appreciate you and he has sent me so much stuff so I appreciate you so much. And he knows that I love Baker 7. He knows that it's always in my bar. So James sent me a Baker 7. And this one is a special one because it's eight years and 11 months, so almost nine years, guys. This one was awesome. Thank you so much, James. And then I was in a Secret Santa kind of thing with a Livewire Whiskey. I'll put their uh, channel here or here. And they had a secret Santa. So my secret Santa, or the person that had uh, me, um, that I had as a secret Santa, sent over two bottles. And what they sent over was Wild Turkey 101 and Wild Turkey 81. Now, these are the one liters, but even more specially, shout out to Greg McDonald, cause that's who sent it. Thank you so much, Greg. Um, these are pre-2016, which from what he was telling me, pre-20, in 2016 is when they kind of switched it up a little bit. Um, and it's a little bit different taste. So I can't wait to open at least a 101, taste it against my other 101, and that's gonna be great. Yeah, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> so I have to interrupt because I forgot somebody on the initial video and I'm so sorry for that, but I did receive another bottle that somebody sent me um, for Christmas time and I truly appreciate it. So Chance Downs, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Chance sent me the uh, big box to put my samples in along with some samples already in there. Um, the sample box from Bourbon Real Talk. And he also sent me this bottle. So a WB Saffle. I am so excited to get to uh, get this um, and actually taste it because although I have seen these once or twice maybe in my area, I never pulled the trigger on them, but I keep hearing very, good things about it. So I'm excited to actually have a bottle and taste it. So thank you so much, Chance. I appreciate it. Now, I think I got through all the stuff that I was sent. Oh no, because although I did pay money for it, right? But shout out to Vic the Whiskey Panda. I'll put his thing here or here um, because he helped me acquire a Rebecca Creek Spanish Oak. This is amazing. It came out in my top uh, 10 for 2023 really good Texas whiskey I really love it and I'm gonna have to hit Vic up about another one because yeah I'm afraid to kind of keep drinking that and then not have any more so yeah Vic definitely will be reaching out but you guys go check out 
uh, Vic at The Whiskey Panda. He's putting out great, great content. And we have a review coming out of that Rebecca Creek, which will probably be out before this video, but definitely stay tuned for that. Vic is awesome at doing reviews, so you'll see him in action, but definitely go check out his channel. All right, those are the uh, stuff that I've been sent. Now we're gonna get into the stuff that, you know, I really bought. Um, well, I bought a lot of these, but uh, stuff that I bought, right? So um, the first one that I'm gonna go through is a scotch because you guys saw the video where I showed Jason's whiskey room. And the first thing that we tasted there was this Ardnamorkin. I think I'm saying it right, Ardnamorkin. Yeah, um, this is amazing. Um, it's only like 60 bucks, but it's so good. Such a good Highland Scotch. So if you guys are into Scotch, definitely do recommend that. That is really, really freaking good. Um, can't recommend that enough. So thanks Jason for that, because if I haven't tasted it at your house, I would have never found out about that. All right, let's get into the rest of the bourbon. So uh, some of these are things that, you know, um, are kind of allocated, but I mean, guys, I paid good prices for these. I don't think I, I didn't pay maybe at the most 15 bucks more than MSRP, but these were all basically MSRP, right? Um, so we'll go through the list. Well, first off, before we get into the really, really big ones, I was able to get a Penelope nine-year-old barrel strength, right? This is an amazing one, and shout out to Brian over there at the Bourbon School. I'll put his link here or here because he was talking really good about that, and once I saw it in my area after reading what he said, I was like, okay, I gotta go and get this, and that did not disappoint. That is really freaking good. So go check out The Bourbon School. I was also able to get um, a smoke wagon uh, Christmas bottle. So I'm not gonna open this. I was pissed off that the 2022 bottle, I dropped it, or it fell off of my bar. Um, so definitely gonna keep that around. Not gonna open this. I mean, it's just a straight bourbon, but I love the different style bottles. Along with that, uh, I think now we can get into like the more special bottles or kind of allocated bottles. So we're gonna go through this quickly. Um, again, most of these were MSRP or maybe a, a, a little bit over, right? So. Starting with this one, Elijah Craig Toasted. This was ABC Vault. I was able to get this and uh, yeah, um, that was MSRP, right? I was able to get my N letter of Blanton's, right? Um, I'm only missing one right now for the uh, special eight. Oh crap, I just opened that. Oh well, well that's open now. Um, for the, uh, I, I need the N apostrophe right um, but I was able to get that again maybe just a tiny bit over MSRP right um, I was able to get a McKenna 10 um, bottled and bond single barrel right this is 212 13 so I could kind of use this as a birthday bottle because my birthday is 219 uh, yeah so this is good, and I bought that for like 60 bucks, guys. Um, I was able to get a Weller Special Reserve. That was MSRP. Shout out to uh, my boy over there at ABC Liquors. I was able to get this Booker's 04-2023. Oh, uh, um, this was the Storyteller Batch, and I already opened it. It was neck and neck with the Mighty Fine Batch of being uh, part of my top 10 of 2023. Uh, but the Mighty, Fan ba Mighty Fine Batch beat it out, so that's still a really good one. Um, this one I was on the fence about, right guys? <sighs> because usually I'm not a port finish guy, but, and this was a little bit expensive, but it was still around MSRP, right? I think I bought it for like maybe 240-ish around there, a little bit under, and this is, Angels Envy, oh, I have it backwards. Angels Envy Cast Strength 
bourbon. Yeah, I was a little on the fence, but I heard uh, the bourbon junkies talking about it so much and some other people that I decided to pull the trigger and well, it is good. I just, I'm still on the fence on whether I made a good choice on that or not, but it is what it is already. So uh, then I was able to get a Michter's Barrel Strength Toasted Rye. Now this, I was looking for the 10 year, but you know what? I'm glad that I was able to get this because this is really, really good. So toasted barrel finish, uh, rye. Yeah, this is really freaking good. And I'm happy I got that. Um, we're down to our last two. And I guess these were the most special ones that I was most proud of getting. Now for December, one is the Jack Daniels limited edition single or twice barreled single malt. This was the special edition for 2022. Um, shout out to MDP Liquors for helping me get this. This is 106.8 proof. I'm really happy about that. Been looking that, for that for a while um, and I was finally able to get it. Lastly, shout out to ABC Liquors, my boy over there. You hooked it up. I appreciate you because I even paid, from what I hear, a little bit less than MSRP for this. So yeah, happy about that. But I got the Russell's Reserve Single Rick House Camp Nelson F. This is a baby of mine. I really like this one. Um, as you guys can see, I've been hitting it kind of hard. I gotta kind of baby it, but really freaking good so guys that is my december whiskey store haul video let me know what were those special bottles that you got in december it doesn't have to be everything that you got in december but what are the ones the most memorable ones i told you the camp nelson f and the jack daniels limited release uh, from 2022 are mine like ah, of uh december but let me know what yours is please comment below would love talking back and forth with you guys please like or dislike this video please subscribe because that will really really help me out and check out the patreon in the description we got some really good stuff happening with the patreon um now in 2024 we're gonna do a monthly raffle for uh, paid members and uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be good so it's definitely a good time to join and you can get in for as little as three bucks a month so definitely check it out in the description. Lastly, I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more of this Valencia, and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.